In this video, I will show you how to purchase and then download a digital item on Etsy. When you are on Etsy, you will first need to purchase the item. So we're here in my shop and we're gonna just purchase something so that you can see how this works. When you go to the item page, you will then click on the button that says buy it now. You can also add it to cart and then go to your cart and purchase it. But if you buy it now, you can immediately proceed to the checkout and get your digital item. I'm gonna pay with PayPal. So it immediately takes you to check out with PayPal. That's how I do it, but you can also enter a credit card to purchase the item on Etsy. Once you go through the process of either adding your credit card information or connecting with PayPal, you'll be able to double check your order details. Then when you're ready, when everything looks good, you'll click the black place your order button. It does take a couple seconds to submit and process your order. And then when you're done, you will land on a thank you page that says thanks for your order. And it will be the first opportunity you have to download digital files. There is a link that says view your digital files now. So you can click that link. However, your order will not process immediately and they need to confirm your payment before you're able to download your items. So if you click that link immediately after your order is submitted, you may see the grayed out buttons instead of a download button that you can click. This means that you'll have to wait a few minutes. So if you just wait a couple seconds or a few minutes and then come back to this exact page, you can just refresh. And then when you refresh, you'll see that the download buttons have the ability to be clicked on and that will allow you to download the items. So you'll just go to the right hand side to the download button, click it next to the item and that will download the PDF. So you'll have the item on your computer. It looks just like this on my Mac after I click download. And as you can see, you can go through all the different items and download each one individually. In this example, I downloaded a PDF, but this works for any type of file that someone has uploaded onto Etsy and attached as a digital item for download. But that's not the only way that you can download a digital file. So let's look at the next option that gives you access to download your digital items. For this method, you'll need an Etsy account. So you'll need to be logged into your account and then go to the top menu toward the right and then click on the second to the last button that says your account. And then in the pop-up, you'll scroll down to where it says purchases and reviews, click that. It will bring you to your purchases page. This will show you all of the purchases that you've made in your Etsy account. You can come back to this page anytime and re-download an item that you've previously purchased. So to download from this page, you will just find the order that you want to download and then click on the right side of that order, the black button that says download files. This will take you back to that page that we saw in the previous method where you have all of your downloads from an order. So here you'll have each individual file that was purchased on that order. And then you can click the download button to the right of each individual file and download the items again. Now we will look at the final way to access your digital files, which is to go to the email that Etsy sends you after your purchase. When your order is confirmed, you'll get an email that looks like this and it'll say your order from the shop is ready to download. Then there'll be a button that says view your files on Etsy. Click that button and it will take you to that download page that we just looked at that is available in each different method. Basically, it's multiple ways to get to this individual page. This is where you'll download all of your digital files when you purchase them. There are multiple ways to get to this page, so that makes it a little bit more confusing. Hopefully this video made it a little less confusing and you're able to download your digital files and start using them immediately.